We are going to spend the next day training with Jeffrey Adler because this guy is making a statement this year. He won the CrossFit Worldwide Open, meaning he beat over 300,000 other competitors. Then he went on to win his semifinal on his way to compete for the fourth time at the CrossFit Games. So we went up to Montreal, Canada to see what he was all about. Jeffrey Adler. I understand it was your 4th of July, but not 4th of July, your Independence Day yesterday. Yeah, I pretty, went to bed. Pretty patriotic. Yeah, yeah very, very much. This morning, St. Patrick's Day. Oh, St. Patrick's Day. Okay. Saying, yeah. I was like, freedom. <laughs> no. <laughs> I wanted to start with the biker. It's just, I don't know, it's probably 45 minutes to an hour of biker. All right, starting the day off like we do every day. Go on, get mm -hmm. some minutes in. How many hours do you have on the go? We asked you this. Uh, I think 380. 380 yeah, hours, triple digits. I've met a few people that have a thousand hours. If you have more than a hundred hours on the GoWatt app, slide in the comments, let us know. I'll send you a digital diet, a high five. What's your favorite French food? Breakfast. Yeah. Breakfast is the best. Uh, I like when you have a little bit of everything for breakfast. So it eggs, some meat, bacon or sausage or ham. Not Canadian bacon, ham ham. Yeah. And uh, on the side you have like a something sweet, so either a waffle or a, a crepe with some strawberries. Is yeah. that the money yeah. Bar yeah. They give you the barbell when you want it? It's heavy grace. That's so 30, 30 clean and jerks at 225. Okay. But three barbells. The time that I have, I have the transition between the three bars. If I do it with one barbell, I can go sub three, I think. It would be fun to keep the record without having to redo it. <laughs> yeah. After a semis, Hopper sent me a message. He's like, oh, you should come and work out at Hardware Plays Off. I, like, eh. <laughs> I love that you said it in that voice. To give all my secrets to Hopper? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. My, my secret weapon is go on. Secret number two. Oh, there we go. Good start to the morning. Always kickstart with some fuse. And then uh, afternoon is uh, salt. Well, I take some hydro in the morning as well. Mm -hmm. And then in the afternoon, it's hydro, uh, beta alanine, and citrulline. So the Solus product. Nice. Anytime I'm doing like heart rate stuff on the Concept 2 or I bike on it regularly, like a Zone 2 thing, you go into your Whoop app, you click the Whoop guy up here, yeah. boom. Broadcast oh, really, heart rate. Really you can now connect your heart rate to the concept to monitor. And now my heart rate will show up on this monitor for my entire workout. Starting with four minutes. Easy. And then, and then it gets hard. Between 115 and 182. Watts? If, yeah. If, if you know watts, then. Yeah, so I'm gonna do like 100. That's nice. That's nice, he said. That's cute. Like they say, it's your journey, bro. Yeah, you choose it. I run on vibes. Rack it up, rack it up. I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. When he sees his programming, does he just like, yeah, doing it. Loves all of it. it loves it's all, all positive comments. <laughs> awesome. I love it. I ever try to talk you out of things and be like, hey, how about we just uh, not do that? So yeah. depending on where we are in the season, there's some things that he'll be willing to do. There's other things he won't be willing to do. On particular pieces, he'll give me input like, 30 is too much. I'm always trying to push him forward, yeah, right? Yeah. So it's like, well, is it 27? Is it 30 reps unbroken? Is it this, is it that? So yeah. there's a little, on those kinds of workouts where mm -hmm. it's like unbroken or we're trying to go for endurance and stamina, yeah, Yeah, he'll push back a little bit more. 500 for us on wattage was a max effort. It really was. And then for you, it was not? No. <laughs> this next piece is gonna, is gonna hurt. So after Four the last one minute, you go back to the 4, 10, 10. Yeah. Go back down twice. That's the, main, that's the main workout. We are six weeks away from the games. I feel okay. I feel like it's the easiest games prep I've had so far. Less stressful, I guess. And uh, we are training in a different way. Really spending time where I need to and not just doing random workouts. Spirits are high, body's feeling good. And I think that's the most important thing going into the games. But yeah, we started off with a nice little biker session. 
very focused intensities and paces. I like to do those. They're really hard, but I feel like I'm working like exactly what, what I'm, I have to, and it, it feels pretty good. Season's been going great so far, exceeding expectations. Every year we've tried to change and adapt and, and go off of what we've learned from the previous season, trying to take more input also from him in terms of programming, in terms of coaching, in terms of what he needs from me, the information I need from him. Holy, the whole workout. I was just trying to keep 100 under him on watts. I'm not even close. His numbers range from 396 watts at the most for two minutes. So his average wattage, this is a great example. Yeah. 292, mine's 188 average for that 40 Ooh. minute period. That was hard. Yeah. Bro, you could power the city of Montreal with those puppies, you know? What was your watch, Marsh? Average? Yeah. 171. Not bad. Out of every one of those watts. What'd you do? <laughs> Where'd you it was a rest. I fell off on one, one interval. You just gotta mention like an athlete's name. Yeah. Oh yeah, Sam yeah, yeah. Down. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I was already way ahead, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll be looking at Romans. That's another yeah. monitor you don't want to look yeah. at. Because <laughs> it's gonna bait you into going way yeah. too fast for no reason. It's gonna arrive at you. On you the gamble. first bike, he got off, I was at nine calories. Oh. It was 15 cows. Yeah. It didn't matter at that point. He already, he already had that first place spot. Huh? Yeah. True, but I was two spots away from giving it to Hopper. So if Hopper would have won that workout and he was second, and I got 12th, he would have won. Uh, oh, shit. And yeah. he finished second and I finished 10th. So I cut it pretty close. In first place with 613 points, Jeffrey Adler. <laughs> I should have sent it way harder. Yeah. But for some reason, it just didn't. It just didn't. Yeah. That was the hardest I get. I had and. Yeah. I'm. I'm happy it was enough. My feet are numb. My ass is numb. Time. Oh. You know what the game? Oh yeah. That feeling of getting off. You're like a, a Porsche, you know. Yeah, it's always broken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Open up your whoops. Let's let's see who died the most. Look at my recovery, man. Jeez, I've never been 97%. Yeah, but look at look at the bike, what it did. 13, oh, 13. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me show you what my month looks like. Oh. oh, yeah, let's go to your month. Let's uh, just go to your month real quick. A lot of greens. You got a couple of reds. Yeah, so I'm gonna go I'm ahead mostly ahead. reds and yellows. I have two greens. Yeah, all greens and yellows. Holy oh. shit. Man, that's called a sauna and cold I, plunge in that, dog. Yeah. That's all. How's that look? That's uh, much different. There we go, lead athlete. Yeah. There we go. So 16, 17 for me for the day is a big day of training. And she coaches an hour or two and she gets 20. What? And I'm like, coaching? how? And then wow, I try it and then I, I'm like, yeah. well, I'm at 16, 17, it's not high enough. Yeah. But if I want to get to 20, I have to work out for 10 hours in the day. Yeah. yeah the only time I've only, I've gotten a 20 point or 20.7 twice. One was a marathon and one yeah. was a half marathon. So it's like, it rewards you for having like yeah. an elevated heart rate for a long period Long time. duration. Yeah. Versus like- I also don't to... know that a reward is the word I would use. Yeah, no. <laughs> What's your heart rate at? 152. What was the max? 73. My max heart rate 161, average 142. Average heart rate 142, max 153. He is cruising. Hey, cruising. Cruise. That was zone two. Yeah, that was zone two. <laughs> that was zone two. <laughs> sandbagging, bro. Yeah, yeah. Never have I ever done a bar muscle up on such a girthy bar. Here's the workout right here. But we are gonna do it as a three-man team. So I'm gonna do the first round, tag Heebs. Heebs is gonna tag Jules. You're gonna bring it home. Hey. But I'm gonna go in reverse order so we don't get blocked up. You know? I mean, I feel like his two minutes rest, he's just gonna be, he's gonna be more sprightly than us. Ah, uh, I bet, yeah. yeah. I'm, yeah. Good. I'm 30, 35, he's almost 40. I'm almost, <laughs> almost 30. Why you gotta bring to him? I don't know, I don't know, just context. <laughs> yeah, he's moving. We did some different style of muscle ups, all with a burpee. He can do muscle ups and he can do volume of muscle up, like that's all fine, but can you go from one to the other and just the, the change in your breathing pattern or the difficulty level of just the implement, things like that. So it's again, like taking some of the knowledge that we've gained from like previous years and trying to, to give him a little bit of that. Oh, 
going. It doesn't matter if you have the best fitness, it's not just your fitness, it's what you can do with the elements within the test. Oh, put it in the hole. Going into semifinals, my plan was to get top 12. I was scared of the workouts, they looked tough. But yeah, it was a huge surprise. I performed well. Hopefully the games will just flow by themselves and just let my fitness lead the way. This year, the goal for me was very, very clear of like, we need to win the game. So the rest of the season didn't matter as much. It has been very rewarding to know that every part of the season though, we've had some positive feedback. <laughs> One more. Now I'm nervous. I felt like he just beat up my friends and now I have to fight him. <laughs> Dude, I want a medal. I need a medal. I'm gonna do everything I can to get it. So why would the goal top 10 at semis but podium at the games? Tell you after the games. <laughs> Okay, so you just did 45 muscle ups? Yeah, very sneaky way. I felt pretty good. I mean, I hung with a very tired version. He did way more reps. So like my average Joe status, felt like I was above average Joe. So felt pretty good. My muscle ups just went, like I had zero hip drive on half of those. So I kept missing. Yeah. My shoulders have been a little funky. And so I was being kind of a wuss at the top. They were just trying to be safe, which is smart. So yeah, those were really hard. I'll say Jeff was really freaking impressive. Like he was very smooth throughout it. It slowed down every round, I think. Imagine that. Those are your splits? Yeah. Not so bad. Yeah. Not bad. I pushed it a little bit here. Thank you. Oh, you hear that? You pushed it a little bit. Yeah, but you didn't take the full two minutes rest. So we were supposed to take a two minute rest between each round, but because we were in such a deficit, it's like, let's just start when Jeff starts and try and beat him. Yeah. So then, didn't beat him. So when, once I get to the game, like these odd things, mm -hmm. I really tend to struggle with, and that's why like we try to implement some weird stuff in training. Yeah. So that when I get on the field, it doesn't feel as rushed, or if I'm way too nervous about the movement, mm -hmm. and I tend to think too much, I'll just go and use the fitness I have, mm -hmm. and hopefully damage control, because I don't think I'm gonna be in the top guys in those type of events, but if I can get up there, then it's, it's less of a damage control on other events. All right, just for context, that's the map of the air. It says uh, air quality index is a four, which is worse than yesterday at about this time. Moderate health risk. Just let you know. Fires everywhere, it's, it's real, real foggy, real smoky. We're gonna do a little Imam. I rode 12 minutes, so that's four rounds. I think that's enough. enough. We're gonna do three bar traverse and then 15 to 20 double under crossovers once you finish the double under crossover you hop on the ski right away so the ski is like a minute a minute and a half you easy well jeffrey i gotta let you know my boy over here is really good at crossover so oh, yeah. yeah no oh, there we go <laughs> you want me to show you how we do this yeah, please. yeah you have to move your weight from one arm to the other and the more weight you can move on one, the further you can walk on one hand, and then it's a big transfer of weight. My oh, back's tough. Backwards is a bit tough, yeah. Reverse bike. <laughs> Reverse bike, Reverse there we bike. go, that's it. So try it again, but with your legs together and just... Okay. Each side. Yeah, there you go, there yeah. you go. Boom, boom, boom. Single under cross, right? I'm yeah. doing them, man. Yeah. When you cross, it's this one that has to go further. It feels like this arm is crossing more than this one, yeah. but it's actually doing the same. 
Oh, that's the most you've ever done. Nice. And Jeff got that's me the most you've, you've ever there. done. There, my guy. Hey. Instead of laughing, we gotta say now, speak. <laughs> Yeah, sure. I see it right there. There's lots of fires going on in north from here, and today the smoke showed up. We can smell it. The air is very different to breathe. Scrapes the throat a little bit. And it's very orange. So the imam, this is where like if we need to change anything, we can change it. So with the fires and the smoke, the workouts that were programmed today were a little bit more breathing heavy and cardio, and it was just like, not today. Easy. 15, baby. It's a damn PR. The air quality is bad, like you can feel it, and I don't want it to be detrimental to his health. So we changed it to an EMOM to make sure that we can still take advantage of the fact that we can work on some skills. So we did some P-bar traverse, we did some double under crossovers that you can practice low intensity. And I'll just take whatever we didn't do today and plug it back in and make sure that we're still working on those skills and those intensities at a later time when it's more appropriate than today. Oh, oh, okay. One thing I enjoy about going out and training with different athletes is we've already done a lot of very different training today with the bike. I've never done a bike workout like that. Yoke. The bar muscles on the yoke and then the parallel handstand push, the parallel walk thing I haven't done. That was unique to be able to like go down, work your way yeah, backwards and then go forward again. Yeah. That was tough. Thanks, yeah. Jeff. Woo. Hey, thanks, thanks, for, thanks for taking 10 minutes. To yeah, dude. 10 you, minutes? Yeah. You improved. Two, okay, two minutes. Two, two minutes. You Seriously. improved his life. Like, yeah. You were the laughing stock of the fitness industry yeah. with those things. I got to be honest. You improved his life, but now you took away let's, a good joke for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're let's laughing. Let's keep it secret. Yeah. And yeah. go back to Danny Spiegel. Yeah. Have a workout with, with singles and just <laughs> <laughs> go like, there yeah, you go. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It was cool to see you. Yeah. This world is not my home. I'm just a passing When did yeah. you start coaching? Probably 16. So we started not dating really. and then I became his So Not the other way around, which I think works out better. I wanted a program and just like, oh, like, do you want to do it? Kind of started like that. My training time went higher and higher, but very progressively. Like I didn't start doing like the two sessions a day and not working until what, 19? From 15 to... 18, I work construction and train at the same time. Okay, so this morning they were talking up the breakfast here in Canada. We're waking, we're caking, we got waffles, we got crepes. I just want to know what that is with that. that I think that's ham, I think that's pork too. Like okay. swine, swine on swine. What you got over here? I got crepe, some eggs, some stuff, bacon. I have crepe, toast. cinnamon, apple, caramel. Yeah, eggs, I got. bacon. Now, let me speak like the Indian breakfast grid, because this is a lot of stuff we have. Is it just like the portions, the price, the taste? Taste. All of the above. I'm gonna say the portions are great. Oh yeah, you want frijoles. Yeah, frijoles. <laughs> <laughs> I like my beans. Hi. How is it? How we doing? How we is? Where we at? 8.2. 8.2? I mean, it's good. That's a good rating. 10 on 10. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I've had this like 25 times. No, no, no. So there's there's a pattern. We have to respect the pattern. <laughs> I'm not going for the sweet stuff right now. It's like an intercontinental breakfast right here. They're hitting all the countries. Mm. What is this? I don't know. What is this? It's it like meat. butter? No, it's meat. It's like meat tuna. Yeah. Yeah, it's like meat tuna. Wait, you call it meat tuna? Pe meat tuna, yeah. Tuna is a meat. It's like saying meat chicken. A little of this, a little of that. I'm gonna get this guy right here specifically. We gotta let it manifest. A1. A1, okay, okay all right. It's impossible. And I can tell you, this is not gonna be 8.1. This is gonna be a 10. Oh, yeah. 10. Get the average up. Get the average up. We're starting here with 20 seated box jumps to warm up, starting with your butt at the height that we're about to squat to. Build springy. Let's go! There it is. There it is. Yeah. Dude, 
not so bad. Yeah, you cannot fail in that. It's not a ton of tension. It's not supposed to be. Yeah, we uh, we lifted some weights, some lighter, medium weights, very fast. We're about to just do some lifting, so this is the optimal time to get that pump. Yeah, yeah, I like a scoop, scoop and a half. Yeah, I like to get that extra vessel dilation. Let's get that pump. Nine rounds. It's, it's supposed to be speed. <laughs> Thanks, George. More speed. Yeah. I think you started too heavy. So conjugate is um, its own like separate programming for strength. You have heavy days, you have dynamic day. Today was a dynamic day. The goal is to move medium weights at high speed. No yeah, it's for speed. It's for speed. <laughs> Look at All that. right, Cameron. Get a rejection moment. Also reinforces good positioning, good technique. You're working on a lot of accessory. Uh, movements, making sure you're targeting all the muscles and like full range of motion for different joints and things like that. So it's the top of every minute, right? Every 30 seconds. 30 seconds, gotcha. So it's like strength and cardio at the same time. Try not to walk out. It's quicker. Also a no rep. Rep shaper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So 19 was my first qualification for the CrossFit Games. I qualified through the Open. I finished 33rd. That was a hard year. It was difficult to deal with the cuts, very stressful, and it was my first experience at the CrossFit Games. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, much better, much better. So going into 2020, we focused on managing stress, managing expectations, and then everything blew up in the, in the world. I was one of the lucky ones that did compete in person in, in California, top five. Consistent, fourth, fourth. And that fifth place gave me some light at the end of the tunnel that I could make it on the podium at the CrossFit Games. And that's it for that, huh? That's it for that. Deadlift's next. Unluckily for me, I got sick in 2021 in the water, in the lake swim, and the weekend didn't go very well. I finished 13th outside of the top 10. That really hurt my feelings. Well, could you try with your feet a little bit more narrow on the next, right under the hips? So you don't want to slow it down because you want to get the stretch reflex, but it's straight here, and then while you're pushing, push your hips back. I can't wait! So we went into 2022 with, I guess, lower expectations. And I just went in and just did my thing. And fifth place, again, in the top five. So two top fives in, in four years, which is kind of, it's kind of good. Hopefully I keep improving this year. So four or better. And that's it. That's her. We got more. The deadlift portions. We got more. Yeah, you guys got a lot of great cues. Okay, now let's talk about uh, Caroline being your coach slash partner and like what that dynamics like. Because I'm sure like not a lot of competitors coaches are there. I mean, the best in the world are Tia and Shane. I mean, it works. Superman was invented by a Canadian, that's all I know. Yeah. Oui, oui. I'm above average, I'm patting my stack. I got a matter what We are fiance, and I proposed to her at, at my parents' place in Florida. Nice and easy with just the two of us. My parents were there, and uh, we FaceTimed her mother. I rented a Nissan GTR because she loves the Fast and Furious movies. Um, we did. It's crap. It's crap. <laughs> The first one is like that. The one that started all is going to be the best out of all the Fast and Furious. One and two are the best. One is the best. I'm laughing because like, they're doing effort and Mars is just here you're just like, yeah. <laughs> Go, 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 first one to finish. What are you doing? 
Oh, got him. I don't know if I got like, uh, you can't get those breaths. <laughs> but I finished and my hamstrings are on fire. Sometimes we mix both language so much yeah. that I forget words in French and yeah. I forget words in yeah. English. Uh, and then I look dumb as shit. Oh what, what, language do, what language do you guys fight in? We don't fight. No, we don't. Mm. Ah. English. But it would French. be French. Yeah, it would be French for sure. It, for it, me, I think it would be French for me, but English for yeah. you. Yeah. When she gets mad and yeah, she starts talking like English, I'm like, oh shit. So where are we at right now, Jeff? We're on our rooftop. All right, we're on our way to uh, Sonic Cold Plunge Jacuz. What did you know, Jules? You get in the cold? Oh, you get in the cold? My legs in there. My legs are sore, bro. Yeah? If you do the full hot cold protocol, I think your, your legs can be brought back to life yeah. by tomorrow. Yeah. Even the cold plunge, I don't know how cold it is. What's your protocol? Three to five minutes in the steam room. Steam room. And then three minutes in the cold, one minute full body, two minutes legs only. You all know I like to hit the oh. neck in the water. My goal with this was to help my knees yeah. bring inflammation down. And steamy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. For here, look how chunky he is. Very thick. I was, I, I was around 205. Yeah. I'm lucky I have one from 2020. All the other ones are at Matt's place. <laughs> <laughs> They're so nice. And then it has the Rogue logo on the end. Oh yeah, please yeah. put it on my desk. You, yeah. should, you should definitely like have Exactly it. where I go. Yeah. Alright, well. We out. We out. We're out of here in the morning. So dude, yeah. thanks so much for letting Thank us come you. and train with Thank you. you. That was fun. Thank, Thank you. you. A lot of fun. Thank you guys so much. Do you want to